la 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 la. Hello and welcome to Dubus Adventures, and this is Resonant Rise. And it's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a while. I haven't done any videos on YouTube at all for, for about a month or so, I'm just guessing there. Uh, I'm not going to go into much detail as to why, at least in this series. Uh, when I start playing Ocesus once again, when I go back on that server, uh, I will talk about it more there. But, um, we'll just crack into it, we'll just go straight into it right now, why not? Uh, I've completely forgotten really what I was doing, to be totally honest, it's been a little while. I didn't know what my last video was, I can't remember what we did, uh, so I'm not sure what's happened in between episodes, so I guess I'll just recap it all. Why not? Welcome back to the series. This, however, I know is very new. Um, I'll do that last, because that's the newest thing. But basically, I've moved, I've moved everything over here. I've moved everything from the old house, the old farmhouse type thing, into this place now. So it's finally transferred. And if I find a way to get over there, if I use it over there and over to that one and then over to that one, you can see it is now empty in here. There's a few scraps of stuff talking about, but it's gone. It's all gone. I can actually go upstairs and the reactor and this thing for the uh, portals are still here. I don't want to break this because uh, I'm fairly sure that this thing is tied to a lot of portals uh, and if this thing gets broken and rebuilt it'll be a different, have like a different ID and all the portals that I've built all over the world won't link to it anymore um, and some of the portals I can't get to without going through the portal I think because they're far away, they're, 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 I don't know where they are, they're, just, they're all over the world, there's thousands of the fuckers right now so uh, if I break this I'll be buggered basically so I'm leaving it here which means it needs power. Um, I've got this Tesseract here. What's that set to? New reactor. Is that being... Okay, yeah. So I said to work out what's going on there. This is being powered by the new reactor. I've got another reactor. This, this is my old reactor. I did put gelid Crothium inside it from the other gelid Crothium world. Um, and it's it works okay. But it's kind of slow. It's like it's doing nothing now. It's not powering anything. It's literally... It's not even plugged in, I don't think. Is it... Is it uh, no, it's not. It's got the uh, computer cable, which I've actually removed the computer from for the most part, I think. The good one, anyway. Um, so it's doing nothing. It's just sitting here doing nothing at all. So I'll probably get its Eulorium out, actually. Have I got any spare Eulorium? Oh, I already got it out. Took it out already. Never mind. Um, so this is just doing its own thing. I can probably get rid of this, actually. Think about it. Let's get rid of the chunk loader, because that's going to help us, isn't it? If I can get rid of that, then I don't need to... Do I need that loaded for here? Probably not. Anyway, I've got this um, Tesseract here, powered from the uh, new reactor, which is in the new ha home, home, host, home, house home, base, castle. This thing over here, basically, um, it's got another reactor in the top of it. I'll just fly over there now. I'm flying very slowly, and I'll go into that in just a moment as well. But basically, the reactor is in this top floor over here. It's big. Look how big this reactor is. It's got so many cores, like more than I can count. I mean, that's not true. I probably count that if I wanted to, but there's loads of them all along here. All these tubes. That's what? Is that? Hello? Okay, no, it is there. Fine. Um, the gelid Crothium inside it, however, is very, very cold, keeping it cooled as best as it can and generating snow on the top as a result. So it's very well cooled, I think. It's doing pretty good. I mean, the heat I mean, is turned off right now, I think, isn't it? Yes, because it's computer controlled. I've got the controller over here, just making sure that it's not powered on when it needs to. Loads of fuel left in it. I mean, a lot less than it did have, but it's loads of fuel still, and it charges so fast. And it's actually dropping a little bit because it's powering. I can't see it because of the thing. It's powering my computer downstairs, which is the newest thing I have built. Uh, it is my computer system. I've got all the chests, all the thousands of chests and tubes and pipes and stuff that was garbage is now all contained in this little system right here. So it's powered uh, from the reactor upstairs, which is using a tesseract question mark. Yes, there it is. Uh, this is all powered by there. Everything is now linked up to a system like this one has got its own system over there. Where am I going? Over here. This one's got its own power, I think. Uh, yes, down there. Um, this is the same, same system I had for the canning machine for my food. I can actually throw some more cans in. Um, also, this thing charges my armor. Now, my armor is power armor, which I'm sure you realized. Uh, I asked you guys about two months ago which armor I should make, uh, and I got several different responses, because obviously I was using diamond armor, and I thought it was pretty good. Diamond armor is half decent, but it, when you come to a mod pack like this, it's just not cutting it. Um, so I said, what, what should I make? Uh, I got several responses. Um, quite a lot of people said I should make nano armor and then quantum armor. So when it loads, we've got nano, is that nice well, nano armor? How is it, was it nano chest piece maybe? Um, Nano suits. There we go. So I just made these, and then over time upgrade them into the quantum version. Um, and I remember doing this from from Second Light, and I looked at it thinking, yeah, they were pretty good actually. They were they were they were really good. But then I looked at the recipes for them, and they're just uh, they made me want to die a little bit inside. I mean, they're just so complicated. I mean, the, the scuba helmet not so much, but I mean, the Lapatron crystal. You're gonna make it out of Angel Crystal and Lapis Lazuli Dust, which is fine. But then you got the circuits, and the, it's just, I mean, it's doable. Sure, I need some more machines. 
I mean, I'd have to make uh, what even is this to make the molecular transformer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's doable, sure, but I thought that seems like a big pain in the arse. So I went with power armor. Um, I, I had the power armor made a long time ago. Actually, I made tinker table. Is that over here? Did I make? Did it transfer across? Let's have a look in here. Tinker table. Uh, it's here. Yes, I haven't put it down yet, but I had made it ages and ages ago. Let's just whack it down somewhere. Why the ball's not? Um, so I actually configured all these things. So I've I've added everything into this now, uh, and the recipe was actually really cheap for power armor in this mod pack. I don't really know why it's so cheap, but like look at all the different things. Um, what was it? It wasn't. Power. It's modular power suits, isn't it? Modular power suit. Yeah, wait, I'll do it. Oh shit! I'll give it. Wait, what? Can I do that? No, that was weird. I can. So if I drag it, it thinks it's in cheat mode, but it's not. Look, I promise you, it's not cheat mode. It's recipe mode. Anyway, um, yeah, look at the recipes for these. They're super cheap. Ender pearls and solenoids to make a, a force field emitter. Solenoids are just wiring and iron, and wiring is just. I've used redstone and gold nuggets for eight of them. It's super cheap. Look, um, if anyone remembers from Tech at Light, the really hard things to make were actually the um, fossil emitters. But HV capacitors, they were really tough. Now it's just an ender pearl, two bits of wire, glowstone, and a bit of paper. Super easy. The th ion thrusters, it's just two fossil emitters, which we've already seen is super cheap, it's just ender pearls. Uh, and iron and some glowstone with a bit of cabling. Or if I really want an invar, that could do too. It's. It's super cheap, so I've got basically an entirely full kitted out artist power armor now. Um, and as a result, it got very heavy, very fast, so I couldn't fly. I could get up into the air, like I've got my power ring, uh, my flying ring thing here, still equipped in my baubles menu. Um, so I can double tap and still fly. Oh, can I do it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm now hovering now, I'm now consuming the EMC in this. So I'm now hovering like I was before, but look how slow I move. And that's after I edited it. Like, it used to be much worse. Like, I'd, I'd hover in the air, but then I'd just basically stop. I'd stand still in the air. I couldn't actually move because I was so heavy, even though I was flying. It was really weird. So I've cut everything down um, weight-wise. Things like the heat sink, I've dropped the thickness down. The uh, battery size, massive battery, but I've put down like half size. Um, I'm probably going to play with this a bit more over time. Like, as I start heating it, I'll start changing it a bit. But I can run really quick. I can boost in the air quite quickly. Uh, I just, once I'm in the air, I can't move forward very fast, like when I'm falling. Um, so it has its advantages, but it does actually mean that I'm pretty much unkillable whilst I've got power. Um, I've tested this over this way. I think there's some lava. Yeah. If I go and quickly like, hover, see how slow the flying is now. It's good when I'm powering, but when I'm not powering, I sort of fall real slowly. Anyway, I can come here into the, into the lava and look at my health bar. It's not moving at all. It's like it's it's completely totally fine. Um, I haven't tested out the heat sink thing of it yet. Like I don't know if I'm gonna catch fire randomly. Um, I am still on fire, but no, I'm fine. There you go. So see, that's 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 great for me. Uh, I've still got 10.7 mega watts mega gigas. 10.6, sorry, mega mega thingies of power. Mega joules, mega watts, mega giga giga wiggers. I don't know what they're called, but I've got. 10.6 M in power left, uh, and that's pretty damn decent. And I can charge it up by just standing on this universal charger. Bomb 10.8, 10.11, 11.2, 11.3. So there you go. It does deplete quite quickly, but it charges quite quickly too. Charging, however, does drain my reactor massively. Look how look how much energy has gone down. That was full before, and it just blah, 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 to do that tiny little bit of power. Luckily, though, it does recharge super fast, so it's not too bad. It's working out well. That's the main reason I made a bigger reactor. I, I, I was going to move the uh, the original reactor over here, um, but it just wasn't cutting it. It wasn't powering my power armor anywhere near enough. And I'm going to die a lot if I don't have my power charged up because I die. That's that's my, my thing. So um, I've had to make sure I've got enough power for my armor. So that's pretty decent. Now I have also forgotten to start a timer for this episode, no idea how long I've been recording for, but I'm going to wing it, we're going to just going to wing it a little bit. Uh, and since I don't really know what I was doing last time, I don't know exactly what I was trying to achieve, um, since that's happened, I figured let's start something new. And um, I think it's about time we start doing um, the advanced, no, the ancient warfare, keep calling it advanced warfare, damn you college, you've taken my mind. Um, the lag is still very real, it's still horribly, horribly laggy, this mod, this mod back. Um, I've actually found out um, not so long ago that uh, the Yogscast are playing Resonant Rise. 
for a lot of series in their different channels uh, and they all complain about how hard it is to get a solid frame rate on there and if their massive PCs are struggling like they're, they're, they're the Oxcast they they make a living having making videos on YouTube mostly Minecraft videos to be fair and and if their PCs that run their lives and play Minecraft are struggling this mod pack I think my little 400 pound laptop is doing bloody well to maintain 30 for the most part so I'm not going to complain anymore like it is really shitty frame rate like it lags awfully quite a lot of the time but it's still very playable and it's doing well so I'm I'm grinning like a madman right now I'm quite proud of my little uh, my little laptop he's doing all right he's doing all right anyway so ancient warfare uh, where was I I've got this research book and the queue I researched loads of stuff you know like I for early on in the game I researched like everything I think I'd need right now I'm meant to re I'm meant to research conscription which we need uh, all this stuff here. Now, I think I gave up here because I didn't have the resources, but now I almost definitely do. So if I get paper, I can get a stack of that. And if I get uh, gold, oh, that's gold. Gold and apple. Uh, what else was I needed? Iron sword and gold ingots. Okay, gold ingots and iron sword. Iron sword, there we go. I should build put these into there now. And that should start processing. So if you're not sure what this is, which is, I wouldn't blame you, it's quite weird. What I'm doing is getting this book, and this book will have all the research logs of different things that I'm looking up. So in this queue, you can see that I can research machinery, animal husbandry, mining, trade, and tactics. Uh, and I've got to get through all these, all these different things learned to unlock the recipes for the mod, basically. So if I get a machinery, bosh, I want to learn that one next. And now it'll tell me that I need some steel, some iron, some iron gear sets, and uh, some iron bushing sets. Set. Iron bushing set set. Pfft, okay, I need two iron bushing set sets. So this is a bit complicated now. How do I make steel? I've never, have I got a steel? Can I type steel in here? What, what comes up? Steel, oh shit, maybe I have. I've got electrical steel, I've got steel ingots metallurgy. Is that this, ooh, steel! Is this the same thing as that? Uh, I don't think it is. That's sort of like a tin color, isn't it? And that is more of a stone color. Oh dear. Okay, so if I type, oh god, what am I doing here? Type steel into this thing. See where we are with that. Now, we might not even need to use it just yet. Maybe I can wait for a while, but that's the one, isn't it? Steel ingot from ancient warfare. How do I make you? Oh! That's super easy. It's coal and iron. Now, see, this is where I was confused for a very long time. I'll just take out a stack of iron and a stack of coal, and I will show you why I'm confused. So you saw the recipe for that. It's just, oh, uh, doop doop It's just coal, iron, steel ingot, right? Right. So coal, iron, nothing. Other way around, was it? No, nothing. Okay, maybe it's, maybe it's in a bench. Come to the crafting table. I try coal, I try iron, nothing. It doesn't work. The recipe doesn't work. Um, even in a regular bench, that, that, that's a Tinker's Construct bench, but even in a normal one, it still does not work. And at this point, ages and ages ago, like episode two or three, I thought, it's broken, the whole mod's knackered. Uh, then I realized this at the top, AW Crafting, Advanced Warfare Crafting. And I thought that was just because it's an advanced warfare, advanced warfare recipe, which it is. But it has to be done in an Advanced Warfare Crafting bench. Um, that applies to a lot of different things. Like, I saw Angel Malice play this mod pack a bit ago. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen this stuff, you should. Some of it is very funny. And he's got some incredible buildings. Like, his, his base looks ridiculous. But... Moving on, um, if I type in, uh, what was it called? Some sort of torch, I think. Magnum torch, was it? Magnum torch. Yes, this thing right here. Uh, this isn't too difficult to make. Chandeliers are no, not cheap, but they're, they're doable. You know, you've got a bit of wood, a bit of wood, and some potions. Doable. But it's a QED recipe, which means you need to make it in the QED, whatever that is. It's a block, which is like a cracking bench, but it does some crazy Type in QED. Look at this, right? Oh, that's not QED. It's Q, Q -E -E. Q -E D. And that is the quantum quantum entanglement device. Unless you look at it again and it says something different. Sometimes it changes. If I delete that and then do it again, QED. No, QED. It's now a quite elegant device. So we don't know what it's called, but it's a QED. Uh, and that is expensive. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about here. So whenever you're looking up a recipe for something, like, for example, steel, you got to check how you make it. So don't assume it's broken. You gotta do it on the right bench. A W grabbing. So I've got this engineering station where would you look at that? It looks like I've already tried to make what what? Steel. Um okay, so it looks like I've been here before. I must have had this issue a while back. So if I now put a stack of that in there, a stack of that in there, and then grab my book, I think. Is this how you do it? Put the book in there. Oh. Well, that should me up. How the frick? 
Do I have to do it in something else, maybe? Is there a machine I've got to make to make steel, maybe? I have no idea. Maybe I've got to get a guy to do it. Who knows? So, all those, all that stuff I was saying there about using the right bench, not necessarily true. Could all be an entire pile of bollocks. So, ignore me for a second about that. I do not know what's up with that. That's strange, but whatever. We'll come back to that another time. So, we do currently have a fair bit of stuff researched. So, if I finally get out of that menu, thank you, and get my book back and open up this, you can see that I have researched quite a lot of stuff. So, I haven't done that one. Oh, I have done that one. Animal husbandry, we've got the farm, we've got, we've got combustion maybe, command, command batons, that sounds a bit slavery, doesn't it? Oh dear. Conscription, combat NPC to spawn, combat NPCs. I don't actually know how to make any of this crap. What am I going to do here? Um, deluxe, chunk loaders, and... Oh, there's so much cool stuff here, I wish I knew what I was doing. Okay, let's try these things. So I've searched ancient warfare in NEI, and I've got these things, and I want to try and make a worker. Sounds like a good thing to start with. Maybe a farmer, actually. Let's try and make a farmer. Yeah, you. Oh, I can't do farming. But I can do working, or I can do mining, or I can do... Uh, why isn't this working anymore? I was working a second ago. What the bloody hell? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. So we've got, we've got miners, we've got workers. We've got combat, archer, maybe not. Um, so I guess it's just the two we can make for now. We can either do worker or combat. So let's do... let's do combat. Wooden sword, food bundle, and gold. Food bundle is just apple, pork chop, steak, chicken, and water. That is a very cool food. I wonder if I can eat them. Do you reckon I can eat this myself? Maybe. Two steaks, pork, chicken, apple, and water. Do I have that in here? Probably not. That's the wrong thing. I'm clicking my book. Don't want to do that. Uh, steak. Uh, I need two of them. I need pork. Do I have pork in here? I do. I need one of them. I need an apple, which I've definitely got. I'm confident about it. Yeah. And I need water. Uh, do I have a bo bottle of water in it? That's waiter. Well, I've got a water bucket. I can make this work. Uh, have I got any glass bottles? Maybe. Should do. Yes, I do. Okie doke. So if I just go boosh, boosh. That did not work at all. Oh my god. I mean, I got the water bottle, but at what cost? Put the bu bucket back down again. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Right, so now I should be able to make the food packet. Now, do I need to make it somewhere differently? Um... AW Crafting says I should make it there. Can I make it in here? Is this where I make it? I don't know. Oh! Wait a second, what if I have that there? And that there, with those in there? Maybe that's where it does it. Where's the book? Book. 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 No. No. Okay, well, I got lucky. I, I didn't get lucky. I had, a, I had a moment of light bulbness then, but it doesn't what I wanted. Ooh, apple core. Oh, so you can actually use it as a normal bench too. That's quite cool. Okay, then there was two of these in there, and then there was a pork chop and a bottle of water somewhere. Um, I have forgotten to just be completely. It was something like that, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, you, you, apple. Oh, chicken. Hang on, chicken. Chicken. I'm not typing in the box. There we go. Chicken. Uh, raw chicken. Okay, I can cook it up. That's totally fine. Um, does this cook things? Forge, will you, will you cook things? You will. Okay, that's worked out well. And I'll actually re EMC it as well so I don't forget that I can make some more. Come on, come on, any second now. Not too slow, is it? And boosh, there we go. Let's just throw that back into here so I can learn it and make some more chicken round you too. There we go. And does this work? Because I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, what's the recipe for this? It is uh, it's the chicken's bottom right, pork chop's top, top right. Okay, let's do that. Pork chop, chicken, there. Yes, it worked! Okay. So now we do know that this thing does work. It's just for some reason the that that one doesn't. It's going to be in some sort of smeltery. I don't know. But the crafting does work. So we've got a food bundle. Uh, we need a wooden uh, sword and two golden ingots, which I've actually not got. But I can make one really easily. Can I tip in sword? Have I got a wooden sword in here? Of course I do. Right. Here we go then. Uh, wooden sword, two golden ingots, and the food bundle makes a combat NPC. And I can spawn him by right-clicking it. In theory. So like I've I've seen almost nothing of this mod pack. Like I looked up a little bit to look at what it was. Saw that you can have like NPCs that do things at night for you and stuff. I don't know, um, and that's it. So here we go. Click on the floor. Boosh. Hello, soldier. Twenty point zero. With he hasn't got a liver. He, he needs a kidney maybe. I don't know. What do I, whoa. Okay. Ah, oh, what should we call him? What should we call soldier? I mean, oh my god. Can I? Can I? Okay, so I can't interact with him or anything. Oh, I can I push him a little bit? Just a bit, bit laggy. Um. Holy crap, it does need food? Is that what that thing was for? Uh, I could do with another transportation table. Let's go get one of them. 
If I come in here, I should be able to get one from there. There we go, I see my table. If I type in table, take one of you, boosh, right. So let's get you some food, Mr. Soldier. It is going dark. You could do with a weapon too, couldn't you, really? Let's, let's get him out. Let's, let's give him the finest stuff. Um, if I type in food, oh no, not food. Let's do one of them things again, actually. So chicken, apples, I saw you there. Uh, steak, and... Uh, what was the other one? Water bottle. Oh, I, I should have... Damn it, why didn't I freaking thingy it? If I go glass again, then I'll, I'll turn one of these into uh, the the EMC of it so I can pull more out when I need to. Boosh, boosh, boosh. And can I put one of them in there? I can. Good. Now I should have to type in water. Oops. And pull more out. There we go. Glorious. There's a stack there. That's less glorious. Uh, and then I think that's all I wasn't the glass. Chicken. Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, so let's get you a sword. Let's get you a diamond sword. Because only the best for my soldier 20.0. <laughs> sword, where did I put it? There. Oh, yes. Sick. And let's get you some armor as well. They've been diamond. We're going to kick you out, son. We've got diamond uh, ooh, helmet. Put you there. Uh, we want diamond boots. Oh, we've got you already. Derp. Uh... Is that all I've got? I've not made anything else diamondy. All right. Oh shit! I just condensed all my stuff into. Oh god. Okay, let's quickly make some diamond armor for this chap. Um. Oh my god. All right. Let's quickly bosh you up to make diamond chest and you up to make diamond legs and then try and restore some of my EMC because I've only got oh 187,000 now. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So I need to get this guy kitted out. Hopefully he will defend me to the death. I mean, hopefully he doesn't die. That would suck a kind of bit. But um, he's now... Oh, look at him. Look at that. He's got a shield slot too. It could be cool. An upkeep order and a manual order. A set home. Clear home. Oh, if I do skin Sweet Jeebus, will that make him look like me? Oh, I repacked him. I put him back in his tube. Hmm. No, I guess that doesn't work for skin. Although my skin's actually capital S now, isn't it? I changed it. Capital S... Capital J. Does that do anything? No. Hmm. I wonder what the skin bit's for. Repack and unpack. Nope. Still the same. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe we'll look at that out later. Maybe it's bugged. Who knows? If I put his name... Oh. Ooh. 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 That was weird. Maybe if I do that and hit enter, does that say it? No. It's... Oh, my goodness. It's forever stuck there now. Never mind. One day, this guy may turn to look like me. Who knows? How do I feed him? Can I just give him some, some steak? Oh, I can. Wait, what the shit is that? Oh, he's following me. Uh, so I can't get a mistake, but I can shift right click and he'll go. So that's his home. Okay. You, sir, follow me, soldier. We're going to war. Well, you're not. You're going to come to bed. You're going to make your home in here somewhere. You come in. Here he comes. Soldier 20.0. <laughs> Struggling. I mean, the stairs there. You could have just taken the stairs, but whatever. Let's put you in here. And you can guard the front door. Come over here a little bit more. Stop. Thank you. Uh, and if I click on you... Set home. Stay there. All right. This is so cool. Oh my god, that's amazing. So I have no idea how to actually make him work, how to feed him. Let's see if I can make that um, food bundle thing again. So it was chicken, it was a steak, it was apple, and it was something else. Water bottle, that was down there, wasn't it? And then it had... Where's the pork gone? Did I not make any pork? Okay, I can make pork. It was pork. Uh, take a stack of them out. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, food bundle. That was it, wasn't it? Maybe these are the other way around. Oh, it's not in the bench, is it? I remember it's inside this other thing. Excuse me, soldier, I'm going past. I need to name him. If anyone's got any names for that soldier, we should definitely make a name for him. If not, I will just give him a random name next episode. I'll hop it through here, quickly get another food pack to see if this guy will actually eat anything or not, because he's going to starve to death at some point, isn't he? If that was the wrong way around. I'm sure of it. Um... I say I'm sure. I'm not sure of anything. Uh, that there, those there, and water bottle there. Food bundle. All right, can I feed this guy with his food bundle? Oop, coming through. Excuse me, soldier, are you still there? I can't see you. There you go. Short render distance to keep my thing running. Not to worry. All right, here we go, soldier. Do you eat? No, can I shift-click that into anywhere? Food bundle, that'd be the manual order slot. Doesn't, no. Can I shift click it onto him? No, because he's following me now. Now he's staying still. Eat! No. You don't want that food bundle? How do I make you eat, soldier? I don't know. But it, what I do know is that it's very clear. I need to make a... Ooh, a shield would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? How do I make a diamond shield? I need to, say, I need, I need to actually um, look up how the hell to do this. So I can't make the shield. There's no recipe for them yet. Maybe I need to make a... There must be a machine in here somewhere. I say a machine or... 
um, some sort of block that another guy can use to, to make some of these things. Because half these aren't craftable. You've got no recipe for it. So I guess we've got to get a guy to make them for us. There's a drafting station. S survival structure builder. Whoa, they sound cool. Village garden large. So I guess someone can make these for us. Structure scanners and builders. Oh, there's so much cool stuff in this mod. Drawbridge. Oh, I like the sounds of that. We want... Oh, let's quickly, I'm going to do that. I'm quickly going to make a drawbridge because that sounds amazing. Wood and, and redstone inside the uh, the bench. Now, maybe I haven't unlocked how to make steel yet. Maybe that's why it's going so, like, it can't craft it in this thing. Uh, this thing. Maybe my book needs to research how to make steel first. So if I pop that into there, oops, not in there, into there. Look at this. Have I got any of these that let me make steel? So these don't need steel to craft. So maybe tactics... Uh, machinery definitely needs steel to make it, so maybe maybe mining will eventually unlock steel, because having minery, uh, sorry, mining in there lets me unlock combustion, uh, which could be something useful. Uh, if I have combustion, I can not unlock that. Chemistry, maybe. I bet chemistry will do it. And then explosives. Oh, here we go. So that's how you do it, isn't it? I've got to keep doing that queue. So have I unlocked the recipe for uh, the drawbridge? Let's find out. Uh, ooh, not in that. What is that? Slime crystals, paper, and ooh, that sounds cool. I forgot about them. Um, I need wood. Oh, I'm using the wrong bench here, and I need to use this thing. Type in wood. Uh, I need planks, really, but that's fine. I'll turn these into planks. And redstone. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Uh, and then I put it in here. Does it work? Because if it doesn't work, that means I haven't unlocked it yet, I think. Wasn't it that with that? Oh, that's it! Draw a bridge with it open. Press Z to set bounds. Sneak, right click to clear item. Can I put a drawbridge on my castle? Oh my god, I hope I can. Wait. Oh, okay, you're opening. Good. Good, good, good. Um, oh, will this work? This seems too cheap to work, but maybe. Um, oh, this could be cool. If this works, I'm still putting a moat down. If I... Sneak right click set bounds, doesn't it? What? Maybe I've got to build the drawbridge first? Ancient, what was it? It was ancient um, warfare. That's not warfare here. So, there's the rotate open, split open, slide open, vertical open, mob spawner placement tool. Holy shit. This is, there's so much. There's just so much. I don't know how to use this thing, but shift clicking doesn't do much. Oh, control clicking didn't do anything either. Left and right, drag and click, swipe and... Nope, don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to look it up. So next episode, I'm going to look up how to um, actually use this mod for a little bit, work out what to do, see what we can do with it, and then we're really going to crack into it. Because we've got buildings now. We've got this place to house our guys. They can all chill in here. I wanted to get individual buildings for them, and maybe one day we will, but it's turning out to be a bit of a pain in the arse. So I'm going to use this whole bottom floor to house these guys. We're going to have little sections for them. It's going to be good. And if we can get a drawbridge on it, how sweet would that be? That'd look awesome, but I can't put it down. That's for sure. Don't know what I'm doing here, but it's got a, quite a cool grid thing for it. But anyway, that will have to do for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, a like rating would be very appreciated. There's a weird floating sword back in my head. I'm going to ignore it until it kills me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.